think about this tour that we did. Um, like so long ago, I practically have to boot up a hard drive to remember it. But we were opening, we were out on the road and we were opening for, for an artist uh, named Rufus Wainwright. And, and he's, he's such a talented guy and uh, this tour was literally, like it had to be like eight years ago or something like that, but it took like five years for me to be able to listen to his music again because I suffered such enormous trauma while on the tour and it was one of those situations where, you know, like when you have like a breakup record and when you get over the breakup and you move on whenever you hear that record, you, you just feel like you want have diarrhea or whatever. But it's weird because, side note, I'll go back to my original thought in a moment, but Sometimes people come up and tell me that our record got them through a horrible time, and then I'm like, why do you still like us? But it's either, it's here, you can either hear them or there, or whatever. But anyway, so back to the original story. Whenever I think of Denver, I think of that Rufus Wainwright tour, and uh, back then, Sarah and I used to just travel with one other person, and, and uh, we used to travel in a car, and we would drive, you know, seven to ten hours a day, and, and we'd show up, and we'd sound check, and then sell our own merch, and then get back in the goddamn car and start driving again. And, uh, and I had uh, I had met somebody right before that tour, uh, a couple months beforehand, and, and courted them quite quite intensely, and we'd started to date. And when I left on the tour, we had plans to see each other about a week after the tour started. Um, she was going to fly down and meet me in Los Angeles, and two days before that, she stopped answering my phone calls. And, calling a lot, I admit. She changed her phone number. She did, it was really fucked up. It was really fucked up. Hold on. So, anyway, I thought I was going to die. Because that's what you do when you fall in love and, and then someone changes their phone number and you don't know what's happening. You think that you're having a brain aneurysm, but it just lasts for months. Um, Anyway, I, uh, I had to get through the tour first, and uh, the day after she changed her phone number, we flew, and we flew from one show to another because it was too long of a drive, and when we got there, my guitar, the neck had snapped on the plane, and uh, yeah, right? <laughs> Fucked up week. So, my we next... You. Thank you. The neck of my guitar is broken. The girl I like has changed her phone number. I'm in a car with my sister traveling across the country, opening 